Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at Transformers, Cybertron, Vector Prime, and his partner Safeguard. Um, when this one came out, I was pretty excited because I thought he was just a really incredibly cool looking design. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here. So first off, what I want to do is I'm going to take off his Minicon partner here and kind of look at him real quick turns into kind of a plain flying gun kind of thing. You can see he's pretty cool there. And it's a simple transformation. You just fold the legs down, fold the feet up, fold the gun on the backpack back, and there you've got his arms, and he's ready to go. And he's fairly poseable. He's got waist and knee joints, elbows on a ball joint, and shoulder joints. Pretty good for a Minicon. Looking at Vector Prime himself, the first thing you just notice about him is all the beautiful detail. All these little spots inside here and down in here, everything just really look like he's a almost like a clockwork transformer. Let's see some of the details here. I mean, you see just the molding on him is just amazing. Really makes him look like one of the ancient Transformers, which is what he was supposed to be in the show. Especially here on the ship. I mean, looking at what will be the nose of the ship when it transforms, you can just see the clockwork gears. So... Yeah, that's that's Vector Prime here. Let's see. Get a look at some of these details on here. Just a awesome, beautiful displaying transformer there with all the patchwork and gears and and mixture of low tech and high tech looking with him. So what we're going to go ahead and do then is get him transformed so you can see him in his ship mode. So we're going to start that by just folding the arms down straight. And then we're going to take them and just pull this wrist piece down and then fold it up into the arm cover armor here. We're going to take the head and turn it around. We're going to come up here, take the nose of the starship and just fold it up just like that then the wings we're going to fold out here get them a little out of the way fold his arms back there's a little hole here that this peg goes into which for some reason is always a little hard to get lined up at least for me and i don't know if it's mine or what and then down here fold the feet out and then they're just going to fold up and peg in underneath here. There we go. And then the wings, you can kind of do whatever you like with them. These fold open. So you can kind of decide how you want to display them here if you want to do something like this. Now this is the only downside to Vector Prime is that these are very soft so they kind of deform over time. But just to get you a look at some more detail here. Not much going on back in robot or in a uh, starship mode but he looks pretty cool. Something else that's neat in this part is this side here. This folds out and you have his sword. Which is very cool. I like when Transformers can store their weapons. And then of course when you take Safeguard here. And we get him back into his flying gun mode. And get him transformed back. He can combine with his partner here and form kind of the main cannon for the ship mode or an arm cannon in robot mode. So it's really 
pretty versatile with what he can do. So just get him back into robot mode real quick here. There we go. Take his sword out. And then we can put his gun on his other arm. So you can see he looks pretty cool. Um, he's pretty poseable in this mode. He's got pretty strong uh, shoulder ratchets. Oops. He can throw a sword really well. <laughs> Elbow. Um, no swivels, no torso articulation, and he's got another good ratchet here in the hip. And this piece of armor will move to give him leg movement. And he's got a little past a 90 degree knee and then some ankle, mostly from the transformation. But, you know, it's there. So not too bad. Oh, you know, I was wrong. He does have an elbow swivel. There you go. A quick look at Transformers, Cybertron, Vector Prime. So thanks for watching.